we want to determine the antiderivative of one over x to the sixth with respect to x, what the directions may say, evaluate the indefinite integral. We need to recognize that in its current form, we won't be able to apply the power rule of integration like we have on the previous examples. But we can change the form of this by moving x to the sixth up into the numerator, so we can rewrite this as x to the power of negative six. So we'll have the indefinite integral of x to the negative six with respect to x. And in this form, we can apply the power rule. We would have x to the negative six power plus one divided by our new exponent plus our constant of integration. So we would have x to the negative fifth divided by negative five plus c. But we don't want to leave it in this form. We know there's a one here, so we have negative one-fifth and then we'll move this x to the negative fifth down to the denominator. So we'll have x to the positive fifth power in the denominator plus our constant of integration. So if this is correct, then the derivative of this function or family of functions should be one over x to the sixth. So let's go ahead and determine the derivative of this to make sure that it checks. And we know in order to differentiate this, we'll have to move this x to the fifth back up into the numerator. So we'll have negative one-fifth x to the negative fifth plus our constant of integration. So in this form, we can apply the power rule. So the derivative would be equal to negative one-fifth times the derivative of x to the negative fifth, which would be negative five times x to the negative five minus one, which is negative six, plus the derivative of a constant, which is zero. Since this negative five is over one, these are reciprocal, so all of this simplifies to one. So we have x to the negative sixth or one over x to the sixth, which is exactly what it means to determine an antiderivative. The derivative of this function is equal to the original integrand of one divided by x to the sixth. Let's take a look at one more example. Here we want the antiderivative of three divided by x with respect to x. And looking at this property here, we could factor the three out of the integral. Let's go ahead and do that for this example. So we'd have three times the indefinite integral of one divided by x with respect to x. So now we want a function that has a derivative of one divided by x. And this should remind us of the natural log function. Here's the integral formula that we'll use. So the antiderivative will be three natural log x plus c, our constant of integration. And this one's pretty easy to check. We know the derivative of three natural log x is three divided by x, which is the original integrand. Now I do want to mention, a lot of times when we start applying the power rule, as we did on the previous example, we try to apply this for every antiderivative. So let's see what happens if we try to approach this like the previous example. We could rewrite this as the integral of three x to the power of negative one with respect to x. And notice if we try to apply the power rule, we would have three times x to the zero, negative one plus one, divided by zero plus c. But division by zero is undefined, so this method fails. And there's no reason to panic if this happens. This just means that we applied the wrong integral formula. Notice how we had to apply this integral formula here where the integrand was one divided by x. We'll go ahead and take a look at one more example in the next video.